Oh, good evening to you and welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is what is up lads it is the midnight kid here back with some more eFootball 2022 gameplay today we're going to have two matches for you we've got juventus versus barcelona as is being introduced here in the first game and we have got manchester united versus arsenal in the second game which will be in a couple of minutes after i've done the highlights of this one i'm going to be talking about some gameplay breaking down some stuff some new stuff as well to go over including what we're looking at here i will cover the new player pre-match introductions in the second video because it's a longer sequence with United and Arsenal and I'll give you my thoughts on that and a couple of bits and pieces on that um, and also I'm going to be going over some of the new commands and the new features and functions such as stunning shot, stunning pass I will cover that in the second game so stick around for that one if you haven't watched yesterday's video check that out as well my initial gameplay impressions and also a huge thanks to VGC for these clips. Check out the full video in the description below. Right, so let's get into it, right? As the boys are just passing the ball around here willy-nilly, we're going to see a couple, of, a, couple of, uh, a couple of differences here, I think, that I wanted to highlight. And I've kind of kept these in straight off the rip, you know, going on the attack against the AI. Clumsy tackle comes in from De Jong, and it's a penalty. Now, a lot of people in the last couple of years have complained about the AI not being aggressive in the box. They kind of stand off. If they win a challenge or they go in with a clumsy challenge, it's very rarely a penalty. So for this to happen in the first couple of minutes is a very positive sign. And that is going to be something that I think we're going to have to keep an eye on as time goes on. A little bit of a different uh, shot variation here from Vlahovic, who slots it into the bottom corner. Sorry if I butchered his name. But uh, yeah, he slots it in. You can just see here, it's kind of like a little side foot player ID style action. Now, this was in Pe Pez 2021 and stuff, as well as eFootball v 0.9 but it is nice to have that kind of feature in there um as we see it so again we skip on a couple of minutes into the video here and there's there's just a lot a lot of stuff happening i think that like just makes the game flow a lot better and i think that like as i've watched more clips and watching this back here now you know people have asked me do i think it's too attack defense attack defense with no real midfield in it I mean, it's very hard to kind of tell with five minute games. And obviously, we're not going to know that until we actually get our hands on it ourselves. You know, everybody plays different. Like, is there in these clips that you're watching, is there a lot of, you know, sprinting, turning back, as we're seeing here, passing central, and then trying to have it with your center forward, trying to make a, a shot through? Yes, there is. But are they, are, are, you know, our goals coming from it? That's the big thing for me. I mean, there's a specific way to play Pez 2021. You know, all the best players are able to kind of learn the mechanics and, you know, absolutely destroy the mechanics, really, and destroy people that don't learn the mechanics and don't know how to, you know, like do triangles, do passing lanes. I highlighted that there just for a little step up on the the the, the auto offside from the AI, which is quite nice as well. And again, this is what I go back to here. Look at this here from PK, right? Now we're going to rewind that. Loses his footing, has a little bit of, you know, momentum bringing him forward. I like little touches like that. Um, and that is different, you know, obviously. And then you've got the little side foot from, uh, from Vlahovic as well that doesn't go in. But I like little stuff like that. And I think the more I kind of watch footage like this, and again, I was very lucky to play an earlier build of this um, kind of game. Like, so I know what it kind of feels like in the hand. It just, it looks to me a lot more fluid. It doesn't look like you're kind of turning trucks on the pitch now. And that's what V0.9 actually felt like. You know, it, it just felt really sluggish and chunky on the on the pitch and, and cluggy and kind of slow. And it's like, yeah, you know, fighting with the controller for what you wanted it to do. And all these like, you know, this assortment of clips that we're seeing here, like, yes, there is still work to be done. And I keep saying that, you know, it can look some, you know, there is some ugliness in it. I mean, there you can see Morata kind of letting the ball run past him at the back. You can see like a 180 pass back. And then you can see Quadrado getting it out here on the wing, giving it back into Morata. Tries to wind up a shot. Um, that's the new shot that we'll cover in a couple of minutes as well, because there's a good few clips in the Manchester United game where we can cover that. But yeah, it does seem, look, it does seem very attack um, based again. 
but the goals that like are being scored and that are being conceded seem to be kind of there seems to be a lot of variety in it um as you can see here there's crosses being put in that's an absolutely terrible miss uh, from the from from uh, Morata as expected um but there just seems to be a lot of variety in it now this match is probably a better showcase of where I've really gone into some of the some of my impressions on it and breakdown we're going to let this run in and we're going to talk about the new uh, player introductions because people seem to be very impressed with them um i said yesterday in my initial gameplay reaction video and my impressions that i thought the player models looked a lot better and i i, I think they do i mean yeah there's some faces that still need a bit of work you know this pre this pre-match presentation the player models look really nice i think ronaldo looks pretty good there kits look nice everything looks nice i mean look let's i mean there's what more can we say about this yellow and blue um graphic design with the pink i mean it's it, it needs a change i mean it needs to be really 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 updated and i think also on top of that as well you know the players do all the same hands behind the back motion which i think could be improved you know give a couple of unique ones there maybe they'll add that in a couple of weeks or months time i hope to see but again like there's a lot going on on this screen there's a lot of colors it's kind of an assault on the senses really um you know with the red logos and the and the pink background for the logos and the blue writing and stuff but i mean here going through these i think the players look good and when the players faces look good as well i think it looks really good so yeah i mean i'm not too bothered about the player models i think they, that they look good enough the kits look way better um and we're just going to go into a couple of bits and pieces here so you saw ronaldo there with the stunning shot where he's picking it up and his his power bar changes uh, to a little color if you missed it we're going to see it again because he absolutely rifles that in there and you can see the meter come up under his name um or under his his legs on pitch as you can see that it changes to purple now this i mean to me is going to be game changing if it's not too overpowering and it's also like the big thing i have and i was talking to a few of the lads yesterday the big thing i have um is that like you know is this going to be a case of like why wouldn't you shoot every single shot with this you know what i mean if you've got the time and space to do it why not shoot every single shot as hard as you can to have that extra chance of it going in you know is there is there something that kind of like is there enough of a risk reward with it that was what my concern would be online you know if you've got mbappe or someone that's able to get that extra yard of space he could be able to shoot all these shots extra powerful so that is something that we need to look at we, do, we you know we don't want as much as we love pez six and adriano we don't want every shot feeling like it's adriano shooting us you know um so that is something i'm going to keep an eye on i've left these clips in here just to kind of highlight the pace of closing down obviously this is playing against the ai i'd say it is on regular difficulty as well they still create chances but they don't really arsenal never really look like scoring um except from a couple of ones but then they get attacks here and there where they put some nice movements together brings it into the box probably an extra yard that he needed to take it there he should have probably just shot it, maybe a finesse shot um but yeah i mean i've just left a couple of the clips in here just to kind of show you the flow of the game i mean here's a mistake and it's straight onto the the counter attack one man up terrible defending there just comes out in terms of like spamming and trying to get the ball as quickly as possible but does get back i think if you're playing online against somebody like that counter attacks are still going to be the meta i think to kind of you know create space and and, and get players into positions because the players seem to be very 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 aware of you know pushing the pace and pushing the ball up the pitch um and again this is a bit of a walk-in now this is another powerful strike but i'm going to rewind this back and this is a concern of mine that i have look at um look at cedric here who is basically makes no attempt he does make a small bit of an attempt but he just kind of like over like steps ronaldo and he doesn't make any contact with the ball the ball just kind of like it doesn't go through him or anything like that it's not a clipping issue i think it's just like a collision type of issue um and we do see one or two more of them if that's happening once every you know 20 or 30 games that's not a problem but that is also something to keep an eye on i don't think it's like a huge issue because it's probably we've only seen one or two in you know 85 minutes of this footage um you can just see some nice defending here as well and again i mean this is against the ai and on, on low difficulty you know they're not really doing anything with the ball they're two nil down um you can see that they have their attack level pushed up to attack with the red down in the bottom left there beside their player name but you know they don't even look like scoring you know what i mean they're not pushing it um and they're still getting caught on the counter attack obviously you know the better you are at the game i mean you do need to be playing up the higher levels but 
this is probably my favorite and you know uh, clip of the whole video right and i'm going to rewind this whole way back i just let it play out so watch that there at the moment you see you know defending to counterattack to break down at the back of it right so we're going to rewind this whole thing back you see Fred being controlled by the user here who's playing as Manchester United. Absolutely just home and missile in like he's going to absolutely kill him. Misses the ball, just passed out him. Varane the same, right? So you've got gaps at the back now. So watch Varane here and Maguire. There's, this is what I'm talking about when I was playing the Windsor build, that you've got to um, manually kind of defend, right? So b between a mixture of switching between the best player in the best position and also having that responsiveness there, which happens with Maguire, having that responsiveness there that if you flick off Maguire, it doesn't take a split second, you know, because, you know, to get back control of him when you flick back to him, that he's ready and anticipating that you're going to flick back to him and be, you know, controlling him. That's a huge thing for me. Um, so we can take a look at that again. Stunning shot by pressing R2 fully when shooting. So this seems to be like a variation of the knuckle shot. You need to press R2 when you connect with the ball. Um, and then obviously players with, you know, player skills, dipping shot, horizon shots will be able to perform unique uh, shots based on that. Shield, we've had that for a while. Obviously, we had the auto shield option, which was like super OP. Then that switched to L2 just for shield, which was manual in, in eFootball. And that seemed to be bug free now. And then stunning pass is very similar to stunning shot, but it's obviously for a pass. So you've got variations on the pass and variations on the shot. So yeah, I mean, look, lads, it is what it is in certain things. I mean, if eFootball is something that you guys are interested in and that you think that it's, you know, it, it, there is massive hope there for the core of the game, I think 0 0.9 this is a vast improvement on it, but we won't know until we actually get our hands on it. That would be my final thoughts on it. I mean, everything looks good so far to me comparing it to V0.9. Do you know what I mean? Like when you're holding this up to V0.9, like there's there's very, very, very few bugs in it. There's very little like, you know, stuff going on that you're like, what is going on here? Why are the player's hands clipping? Why are their shoulders dislocating when they're going in for her, you know? uh 50 50s and stuff like that none of that is here you know this is all you know this is all captured footage from guys that played it um it's raw footage you know it's not pre-prepared footage or anything like that this is raw footage anything was recorded um as you can see from this so it is going to be very interesting to see what the story is when you know the game comes out but the beauty of it and i think why there is a bit of hype there is that the game is coming out in like six days time. So we're not going to have to wait any, you know, longer. You know, if the game isn't for you, you're going to know next Thursday. If the game is for you and you're happy to play it and happy to see where it can go in the next, you know, two, three, six months, um, I think that there definitely is potential there. Is this direction for you? That's up to you. You know what I mean? If this direction of eFootball is for you, um, then I think that, you know, V1 is going to be a vastly superior build to V0.9 and V0.9.1. Um, but let me know if you enjoy these videos or what the story is. And we will be back soon with a couple of streams and a couple of more videos and a couple of breakdowns. But until then, I will talk to you in a bit. Let me know your thoughts of what you've seen so far in this video and other videos. And yeah, that is it. Peace, lads.